Bond traders are worried the decision to convert all existing bonds to only four exit bonds could collapse the secondary bonds market. They say limiting the bonds to only four restricts the number of instruments available for trading. Kojo Lecha is a financial analyst and trader. I reckon it's, it's, it should lead to, I don't know, the death of the market because how would you trade these these said for the bonds? Um, as our secondary market, I mean, it's not up, up there, but I mean, it's been active. We move securities here and there. And now, per the MOF's directive, we are being forced to, um, you know, um, crash it into four. I, we don't have full communication on how that will be done yet, but I'm sure with time, um, the finer details of that should come out. Mr. Lecher explains that though individual bondholders are protected, they will be impacted if they want to exit the bonds markets ahead of maturity. What what tenets um, would that security follow? Because once it's going into an institution's portfolio, it might be classified under those four exit bonds that um, we just got wind of. Now, which institution would want to, you know, um, buy um, an individual's bond for it to st be classified as an institution bond. I believe there's a lot of, you know, gray areas that has not been, you know, clarified with respect to how dealings are going to be. Mr. Lecher, like many investment analysts, wants governments to provide additional information on what will become of the investments of individual bondholders who want to redeem part or all of their bonds before maturity.